All right, so this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and as well Capricorn Rising. Weekly general tarot reading, um, January 26th to February 2nd, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below. And there you are going to find a, a link to my website. Now, that being said, moving into the reading, seven cards in string, meaning no particular positions of the spread. Whatever the cards show, they show. So the reading doesn't get any more general than that. That being said, first one here is going to be the Knight of Swords. So you will have to deal, you will have to deal with this uh, person, with this individual here, a very tenacious one, someone who believes in their personal rights. I don't know how to say it. So it's someone who thinks that it is right at all costs and it's kind of pushing into that direction and they are not necessarily right into what they are following into. Now, the Knight of Swords, they are uh, with a, a very strong logic okay so they have extremely well found intellectual capabilities here they think a lot and they are capable to kind of like understand things all right so when you tackle with them it will be best if you approach them not in a in a sense of being warm hungry like outbursting you know and scandals and all these kind of stuff but try to explain yourself and that way they are going to see you know where you're coming from because uh, ultimately when it when it comes to decision making with the knight with the knight of swords and the actions that they need to take they always consult themselves with um emotions as well meaning that if you explain them for example what they are doing is not going to make them happy they are going to give a second thought about if you are making them unhappy may be sure that they are going to decide in favor not of you but of something else it is because they don't want to be unhappy they don't care about what is it at stake here all that they care about it is what they do is consulted with their emotional health if you will and if by your standpoint you are making them unhappy they will simply ignore you and move on forward now the next one here uh, is going to be another one we do have that is going to be the knight of wands so this one here however it's quite the opposite this person it's quite of an enterprising youthful in spirit they are determined to do uh you know what it takes in order to um to reach the points they want to be at at, uh, at certain points and uh Knight of Wands, however, they are very uh, driven by interests. Okay, so if you want to have something, if you want to have something to do with them, you need to present them with something that they are going to find interest in. And in order to move on into the future as long as you can with them, you need to feed that interest of them. It is because as soon as they lose interest in you, they will move to the next one. All right, or it's as soon as they lose interest into the into the business you do together, they are going to move to to the next one and so on and so forth. So these two cards that we do have, maybe that you have to make a decision in, be in between two people. Are you going to, um, how can I say it? Are you going to um, put the efforts behind uh, explaining and convincing yourself to the Knight of Swords, knowing that once he decides he or she decides in your favor is gonna be a long lasting thing or are you gonna choose the easy way around moving for the knight of wands which is quite inconsistent all right uh, as long as once again they lose interest in you or into the thing you are presenting in front of them they're just going to move into something else so definitely that is someone you cannot count on okay for a any major stuff now the next one here that we do have for you is going to be the high priestess so high priestess points that this week is going to be uh, a week where a major development is going to take place because the high priestess in that particular case uh, does not say is it related to career or is it related to relationship but it does says that the uh, the need not the yearning all right they, these are two different things the need of your soul is to be fulfilled high priestess when it comes to uh, Rom romans for example it does point to the bondage of souls 
I would say that points to soulmates, although I don't believe much in that, okay? But if we're talking about soulmates, it doesn't get any better than that, or it, got, it doesn't get any closer than that. I mean, connecting into a soul level with someone or with something, okay? Because if that's a job, then the card points that this job is gonna be everlasting until you decide to walk away from it, okay? Or in this case, whatever you choose, it will be a decision that you cannot withdraw from, whichever you decide of. So if that's a love triangle, for example, and you do have to decide in between one of these people, once you make your decision, uh, that's it, okay? And you have to live with it for the rest of your life, for example. But the high priestess, if, uh, as it, it will refer to a decision making here for you, Capricorn, um, it points that no one can actually tell you the right or the wrong answer. You have to find it within yourself because the high priestess represents the inner voice. And the inner voice is very different from the intuition, okay? Intuition is, so, is something you tap in, something alien that you tap in. Inner voice comes from the depths of one. So, so think of carefully or give yourself a time to identify what your soul needs, not what your soul yearns. Two different stuff once again. Your soul may yearn, for example, for an, an explosive relationship with a lot of romance and, and with all, the, you know, these exhilarating moments while it may need peace. Okay, so two different stuff here. And that week you need to identify that, what your soul needs. And these two people, by having to decide which one you want to go forward with, it will help you to identify that. The next one, it's another person that we do have, and this is going to be the Page of Pentacles. So Page of Pentacles, these people are our followers. And in that case, whatever you decide to go forward with, they are going to support you through it. It is because their devotion is completely into you. I mean, these people, they only follow, you know, a devotion that they have made. And as they come into your reading, it's simply that you are their devotion one way or another. Another thing with the Page of Pentacles is that they do not go or follow someone if they don't understand or if they don't kind of like de determine that it is worth it. So definitely whatever that page plays a role into your life throughout this week, it does worth or, or kind of like you their time works, works there a while with you. So if that's a business endeavor, for example, and you're working with the page, you rest assured that you are on the right track here because that page plays a role here in this week by investing. He, that page is gonna invest in you in any way, materially through money, for example, emotionally through supporting you and so on and so forth. Because once again, they find or they find you worth in their while. The next card here is going to be the Two of Pentacles. And all that comes to a point where you will start leading a little bit of a different life, okay? Two of Pentacles, it is the card marking that throughout the week you will have to let go of certain concepts and certain goals as well, if you will, um, a certain uh, routines as well, because the Two of Pentacles points that you will have to become more adaptable and agile than you are usually are. And you will have to tackle with more than one thing or with more things, juggle with more things that you usually juggling with. So the card itself points to a high dynamic as well that you will have to deal with throughout the week. And uh, uh, whatever plan you have, to go through the week itself, there are to be a lot of changes into that plan. I mean, minor changes, but still changes. And you have to find a way how to tackle, not exactly tackle, but how to fit those changes into the existing plan, how to make the most out of it. And that only happens if you are quite adaptable. So with that card itself, it's quite unpredictable to say what is gonna happen exactly throughout the week, but the card itself gives a promise that if you are agile enough, you know, and if you kind of like do not stick or you are not stubborn with your particular performance, you know, or with your particular expectations as well, a, a great result 
can be achieved because this is how two of pentacles uh, operate here and the way i see it in this reading guys i do believe that that card points that you have to test those all those people that come around it's quite crowded here we do have the knights of swords the knights of wands the page of pentacles so you need to just basically kind of um jump from one to another into the third and into the first and so on and so forth so just so you can see what they have to offer and at the end of the day by doing so you alone are going to identify what your soul needs and not what your soul yearns so um a final conclusion here is this that i do believe that there is more than just uh, what meets the eye and you have to simply you know try out bit by bit from each one of them to identify which is going to be the most suitable uh, suitable for you so the sixth card that we do have is going to be another person now that is the uh, king of pentacles now king of pentacles these people they are very self-absorbed and uh, it's like uh, only thing that matters for them is themselves as an individual and they are very generous in general okay so they are very generous but they are not charitable so they will only give you if you are willing to give in return or if they uh f or if they know how can i say it if they find out that, sh that they have use of you or that you're given return exactly as much as they have give you as well if not with a profit as well just so i can give you an example here that could be a person who can offer you a good life let's say family life but only if you can offer them the same thing in return all right or they can invest into your business only if they know that that business is gonna pay off so we do have two people investing in you here um <clears throat> Capricorn, one that invests unconditionally because they find that you're worth in their while, either emotionally or physically, and one that it is still not decided, uh, and one that still haven't decided should it invest or not, it is because they do not know is it worth it or is it not worth it for them. It is because at the end of the day, the king of pentacles they are selfish people i mean they are not going to support you through anything if there is nothing in return for them all right because only thing that they care it is what at the end of the day they can they can say that it is their own and it is their own domain this is just how they operate all right so a lot of people to the to, to to tackle with capricorn i mean that week is going to be rather crazy guys uh, and the last one, if that's a court card again, oh, the, the last one is going to be the seven of swords here. All right. So at the end of, by the end of the week, I cannot see you making your decision. Now that card itself points that by the end of the week, you will still need some time to decide what you are going to do with all these kind of, um, these kind of guys or uh, girls. Or the way I see it here is that you will try to find out a way how you can make use of all of them. And I mean all of them without losing neither of these people around. The problem with the seven of wands, it is that all of them are going to press you to make a decision whatsoever. And, um, not nine of wands but seven of wands and uh, with the seven of wands uh, there is not much of a room to play with here guys it is a card of a uh, extreme tension and opposition as well it's kind of like opposition in a set in your case that everybody is is pushing you or is kind of like pressing you to say are you gonna work with them in one or another way are you gonna be with them or are you not gonna be with them or are you not gonna work with them and it's rather tough i mean this card points that mm, at the end of the day there is no uh, perpetuum mobile if those who doesn't know what perpetuum mobile is is to have everything at the maximum percent and you have to make certain sacrifices moving on forward with these people so you can um, you can you can develop further either into your career or either uh, either into your relationship but with the seven of wands uh, also that card points that these people are gonna start um battling in between one another all right 
and at that point you will have to be the peacemaker there all right and uh, it will require a quite severe heroic actions and decisions as well to simply sap that uh, warmongry environment that for example is going to arise in between the knight of swords and the knight of wands not that much in between the page and the king i mean they they don't really care um, <clears throat> for what it is going on outside of their personal endeavors with you but the knight of swords and the knight of wands they definitely are going to battle in between one another to have your attention and it is where you need to sap those battles for a reason being it is that these two people they are incompatible together i mean you cannot have them simultaneously no matter how much you try and you will eventually have to decide in favor of one of them and this is how you slumber the arguments here you just at the end of the week decide in favor of one of them so that being said capricorn this was your weekly general tarot reading guys hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, we are going to uh, see each other next time until then bye